Today I'm going to teach you how to make the world's greatest New York cheesecake in the Instapot Six Quart Duo. Mm -hmm. I've watched a lot of videos and I've split them all apart and I've come up with the best possible recipe. This one, you will never make another cheesecake after this. This is so quick and so easy. First thing we need is a six and a half by three inch pan mm -hmm. with the lid that comes out. All right? Mm -hmm. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take some wax paper. You're gonna, I'm gonna do this very quickly. It's gonna be very simple. Rip a piece of wax paper, fold it around the edge. Just like that. Put it back in the Insta pot. Just like that. Okay? Okay. Then we're gonna take a little bit of Crisco. Okay. I'm gonna take a little thing here. And we're gonna put that all around the edge here. That way when the cheesecake's done, it slides right out. Okay. Slides right out of the pan. Yep, nice and slippery. Okay, what I'll do, next we're gonna take some graham crackers mm -hmm. and Freshen up. I'm gonna take just regular graham crackers and I'm gonna make the graham cracker crust, which consists of 10 graham crackers, four tablespoons of melted butter, a pinch of salt, and two teaspoons of brown sugar. Okay, I'll mix that up for you real quick and I'll show you the next step after that. Alright, I have my 10 graham crackers and my Ninja, my favorite kitchen top tool, and I'll just zip those up. Alright, so we've got 10 graham crackers. Mm -hmm. All chopped up there. You can see what those look like. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have a pinch of salt. Mm -hmm. Two teaspoons of brown sugar. Yep. And then... Four tablespoons melted butter. Mm -hmm. Nummy, okay. nummy, nummy. Mm -hmm. That's going to be the perfect crust, so now we're going to pour that on top here. I'm just going to pat that all around. Now I'm going to use the bottom of my Ninja here. You can use a glass. I'm just going to mm -hmm. press that all around nice and flat not need to be perfect. It's just a cheesecake we're making here. We're not creating any kind of rocket science. Now this is going to go in the freezer while I make the cheesecake material. Okay? Yep. So let me go put that in the freezer real quick and we'll mix up the cheesecake. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to make the cheesecake batter and we're going to pour mm -hmm. that into this bowl here. I'm going to first of all use two-thirds cup of sugar. One-third. Two-thirds. Half a cup of sour cream. So I've got just regular sour cream here. And now I'm going to use two pinches of salt. One pinch. Two pinch. And now I'm going to use Two tablespoons cornstarch. Cornstarch out. One. Two. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract. One. Two. Mm, smells so good. And then I need 16 ounces of cream cheese. So two of these eight ounce good things. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put those in the microwave really quick. I'll open them up and microwave them so they're a little more room temperature. Cream cheese? Yep, I just melted that in the microwave for about a minute and 20 seconds. Mm -hmm. Mix all of that stuff up. Okay, now I'm going to add two eggs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Two eggs. Yep, one, two. Mix that up. Okay. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to get the graham cracker crust out of the freezer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me set 
that aside. Here's what we're going to do next. I'm going to pour. simply pour that into mm. this guy over the top of the graham cracker crust. Okay. Now, you notice I don't put any funny additives in there. No lemon peel, no lime, no orange, no extra flavors because I've tried that and those cheesecakes, they taste weird. They're just, mm -hmm. they're not regular New York cheesecake. This is like Carnegie Deli fresh cheesecake. Best on the planet. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I'm gonna get the Instapot ready. All right, now, so here's mm -hmm. the cheesecake all ready to go. Now I have my Instapot and now the, this is the Instapot six quart duo. And with the duo, you get this little trivet that, with the handles on it so you can lift things up and not down out of it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put one cup of water in here. Okay. Yep, and the purpose of that is that this machine is actually going to steam the cheesecake. So here's what we're going to do next. I'm going to put the cheesecake on the trivet. I'm going to lift this up. I'm going to put this in. Okay. And then I'll put my lid on. And I'm going to close the seal. To seal position and then I'm going to pressure cook turn the keep warm button off and I want that on for 26 minutes mm -hmm. okay yep. and as soon as that thing is ready uh, it's gonna warm up in the there now it's on now it's gonna as soon as it's warmed up it's gonna cook for 26 minutes mm -hmm. All right, 26 minutes has gone by, and now we're gonna let that rest for 10 minutes before we break the seal on the steamer. Okay, 10 minutes has gone by since the timer went off and it's rested, so now I'm gonna hit the little open seal thing here. Mm -hmm. Let all the rest of the pressure come out of there. That yep. smells so good. Yeah, at this time I'll unplug the Instapot and then open the top. And then, nummy, num, nums. Okay, that's what that looks like. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the cheesecake out. Remember to use the handles. Yep, use the handles. I'm going to put it right here. Okay. And now what we have is a steamed cheesecake, but there's a little bit of water left on the around the edges because it was steamed in the Instapot. So I'm going to take some paper towels. It's going to dip it in there. I'm gonna get the excess water out of there. Okay, mm -hmm. as soon as I get all the excess water out. Yeah, you see that? Yep, I'm gonna get that off. Really quick and easy. Yep. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna to have to make the topping to put on top of the cheesecake. Mm -hmm. So what I have is the sour cream again. Sour cream. Okay, in this bowl right here, I'm going to put two big tablespoons of sour cream in there. Okay, and then I'm going to add Just one more big two teaspoons of sugar from here. Get the sugar out of here. Two teaspoons. Yep. One, two. Now I'm going to pour this on top. Mm -hmm. Of the cheesecake. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my cheesecake with the topping in the refrigerator for four hours. And then after four hours, we'll take that out and it will be ready to slice and eat. And eat. Okay, see you in four hours. All right, now it's been about four hours, so I'll pull the cheesecake out of the fridge. Mm -hmm. Put that right there for a second. Nummy, num, num. I'm gonna use the assistance of my ninja tool here. Okay, just give that a little press. And the cheesecake slides right out. 
now I'll just take this and I'll put it right here on this plate. Okay. All right, let's get the knife action and press right through that ham cracker crust. Take my pie scooper. Yep, pie scooper. Get that. Smear that. Mm -hmm. Delicious New York cheesecake. Okay, here's Franklin now giving it a taste test. How is it? Super good. There you go, Samuel. Samuel is my film expert. He's the guy behind the camera with the commentary. Give that a taste test, Samuel, and let me know what you think. Mm, it's so delicious. I couldn't have done it without you, Samuel. I'll try here. Here goes. Mm -hmm. mm. Best cheesecake ever. That's exactly what I remember at Carnegie Deli in New York City. Papa, this is the first place award for cheesecake recipes. Twin Cities Adventures, out.